Hi guys, um, as I may have mentioned in my last video, this one is also an unboxing and today I'm unboxing the January 2018 edition of Birchbox um, and this one is lovely, a back to the draw format uh, it's got little flamingos on it and it's in association with Oh Dear so is this box an Oh Dear or an Oh Yeah? Let's see not going to lie, I've already had a little peek in this box um, and yeah, um, this January we've teamed up with Odia, the quirky British stationery brand that champions creativity. It basically gets start, gets ready to kickstart 2018 by embracing what makes you you, which I'm all wholeheartedly in favour of. Um, ditch straighteners in favour of not a wave, ditch the gym membership for a hobby you'll really enjoy. Rip up the resolution rule book. All for that. Um, too many people make the same re resolutions, and I'm guilty of it as well. And I've done the new, uh, the new year, new you thing in the past, but I'm not going to this year because there's not much wrong with me in the first place. I don't want to be new. Well, I want to be the best person I can be, but that doesn't mean it's all new me. Anyway, first item: Lord and Berry full-sized birch box exclusive. Blush a crayon and peach or camellia. Recommend a retail price £15. January has a bad rep for being a gloomy month, but not if this blush stick has anything to do with it. Playing with colour is the perfect way to add a little pep to your step on grey days, and this crayon couldn't be easier to use. Embrace your inner kid and scribble on the apples of your cheeks and then blend to the edges with your fingertips for an instant flush. Right, I've already been making videos some covered in makeup as it is so what I'm going to do is try and swatch this on my wrist maybe that may be the best bet so the, I got Camellia by the way so what colour it is like that and yeah I can still see the line interestingly um yeah I think it need work with that but it's a pretty colour I think it, I think it would actually look nice on my lips I'm tempted to put it on my lips actually um, yeah, um, not the whole concept of blushing as pencil I find a little bit weird, but um, the colour's nice enough, so whether it would work in the thing, I don't know. Just have to work out how much pressure you need to put and how much product you need to apply. Maybe start off with a little bit and build it up, maybe. Next item Marcel Birchbox Exclusive Waterproof eye Eyeliner in Charcoal. Recommended retail £10.99. Long lasting, smudge resistant and waterproof, this eyeliner will still put from the morning school run suit your evening dinner plans. No touch ups required. The shaft charcoal is a wearable twist on classic black. It glides on smoothly for effortless application. Sweep the pencil across your lash line and starting from the inner corner of your eyes. I've got to be honest, why do they put so many eyeliners in? This seems to be an eyeliner obsessive with beauty boxes. So that's it, Marcel. That's what it looks like, and we'll find somewhere that hasn't got a scribble on. Nice colour, very nice, a bit subtler on the black, dark grey. Feels very smooth. Whether it weighs a lot, I don't know. I'm still yet to find a liner that weighs well on me. Um, yeah, I just can't. I can't. I don't know whether I have watery eyes or oily lids or a combination of the two. Not good, anyway. Right, shall we see? Shall we give it a rub and see if it is? Yeah. Oh, it's faded a bit, but it's still there. Hmm. That might we'll give that a go. That might have potential. Next Thermalive Swass Night Cream. Restructuring restructuring and nourishing properties. 15 ml. Getting a good night's sleep does wonders for your skin. I know it does. I've slept an awful lot lately, but it hasn't helped my skin. Let's face it, those long sleep sessions are few and far between. When you can't guarantee full eight hours, massage this PM moisturiser into clean skin to boost its regeneration potential. Brimming with sea chamomile to boost collagen production and vitamin E to soothe your Your skin will be left plump, nourished and well rested come morning. Never heard of the brand. Um, but... Uh, Papaya, uh, papa, papa, papyrus extract, shea butter and jojoba oil, um, made in France. Um, mini size moisturiser, we'll definitely give this a go. Um, 
yeah um there's a big thing about sleep moisturizers i know your skin repairs itself while it sleeps so there's been a big rush about um sleep things at the minute and like sleep peels and all sorts so yeah it'd be interesting to see how this works now this i've had before and to be honest i didn't have a lot of use for it then that's because i don't really have use for it now um it just seems an odd choice for a january box this parlor by jeff chastain moisturizing sea salt spray 30 mils but in the effect of salty sea air, this spray delivers tousle texture without having to spend dead foot near a beach. Plus, while some salt sprays can leave your hair looking dry, this one contains sweet almond extract and vitamin-rich algae extract and nourish strands and protect your scalp. Spritz it evenly through damp or dry hair and twist to add texture when you want. Bit of an odd choice for a January one. Um, not unless you live near the coast. I don't think walks by the beach are like big thing in January when it's cold. Um, shall we give it a go? Yeah, no, no. It smells nice enough, but I, I I think it is something that we've had in a box before. I've given up on the street today, so I may as well just try and embrace a bit of wave. Hmm. Hmm. Hard to see. Hard to see, in all honesty. Right. <clears throat> Finally. I thought, I don't think this is final. There doesn't have to be something else in here that I don't know what that is. Okay. Anyway. After Spa Amazing Makeup Remover. Forget the various lotions and portions that usually assist in the removal of makeup. This ultra soft cloth is only one thing you need, water. Just wet the cloth, massage to break down impurities and remove makeup. Give it a spin and before your first use and then get started. Bonus, it lasts up to a thousand washes. So yeah, there's been a few around these. I've got, I've got, I got one in Primark, I think it was. And then I got a Magnetone one in the Advent Calendar. The Look Fantastic Beauty in Wonderland. There was a Magnetone one in there, and I think that's kind of what this is. It's just basically a microfiber cloth. Um, I'll definitely give it a go because the idea in itself is brilliant. Um, perfect for people who are time poor or whatever, who basically don't have time to fad along with a cleanser every two minutes. So I'd definitely give that a go. That's interesting. Um, recommended retail price five fifty, and that's that. Now, I don't know what this is. What's this? Um, are these stickers? Yes, they are. They're sticker stickers. Okay. Uh, uh, boxes immediately gone up in my estimation because stickers. I love stickers. I remember Phoenix of Newcastle when I was really small. Um, they used to have a stationery department and they had these rolls upon rolls of stickers and you bought like per sticker, the price per sticker, and they were actually really expensive. Um, and they were so beautiful and I just wanted stickers. I love stickers. I, I, haven't, I don't stick stickers, I just collect stickers. Um, yeah, so sticker sheet. Stand tall, important, need to do, pounds. Be fabulous, strut your stuff. This belongs to, important, to do, need. And flamingos and leaves. Stickers. I love stickers. Um, and then it's something about Audia, 20% off Audia using the code Birchbox. Um... Yeah. what can I say I've got to be honest and say that it was okay it was okay there's stuff in there that I'll definitely use makeup cloth I'll definitely use blush stick I can definitely do something with that salt spray maybe not so much moisturizer usual if it doesn't work for me I'll give it to my mum stickers I love the stickers but I've got to be honest, as I say, I've been seeing this relative again after since basically since I resubscribed. Birch Box just doesn't wow me, and I don't know whether it's the sizes or the brands or just the amount, the price, the comparison. Um, it just doesn't wow me, so I'm not going to lie. I have already cancelled again. So I'm looking for basically any recommendations that you have for subscription boxes, or or do you think I'm just better? putting so much money away a month and saving up for something special do you think that's a better idea or do you think i should just go and see what else there is on the market don't know but i've definitely cancelled so 
it was it wasn't it wasn't an ordeal and it wasn't an all oh yeah it was somewhere in the middle for me from Birch Box but stickers the stickers the stickers may have and I, I don't think I noticed the stickers first time around but you know it's stickers it's nothing it's nothing amazing it's stickers <laughs> I'm such a child at times but um yeah um it hasn't wowed me enough um for one since I resubscribed so I'm gonna say goodbye to Birch Box so I'd love to know your thoughts, so leave me a comment in the description box. Let me in the description box, in the comments below, and let me know what you thought about this box. I will try and do a full listing of everything that's in the box and a size and a price comparison where I can find one, um, to give you an idea of the value of the box. So. Yeah, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, also subscribe to my channel if you'd like. I'd love it if you would. Um, and don't forget to check my blog out as well. I do have a Pixie um, Beauty eyeshadow palette and I'm giving away a makeup bag from Next as well. So don't forget to check my blog out to see that and enter if you can. Um, and yeah, um, I'll be back soon with another video. Um, it'll either be another unboxing because I'm doing a pink parcel or it might be um, a beauty sale haul. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, see. We'll, we'll see what happens. So thank you for watching and I will see you really soon with more videos. Bye.